Coming up on the next few episodes of the Soul RV Podcast, we are focusing on the essential steps of planning for an RV camping trip. It is part of our new complete RV travel guide, how to secure your best camping trip now, monthly theme. We are going to start with the importance of checking tire pressure before heading out on your first trial run. All of that and much more coming up on part one of three of the series, Trip Planning on the Soul RV Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Soul RV Podcast. I am Mark. And I am Angie with Soul RV. Today, we are starting a three-part series on how to secure your best camping trip now. You may have heard us talk about the importance of checking tire pressure on your RV in the past, but it is such an important step in the planning process and the most important safety fact to remember that we are going to cover it again today in this quick episode. Be sure to check out the video that we have linked in this podcast where Mark shows you how to check tire pressure on an RV as well as the best tools to use. So now let's get started with the importance of checking RV tire pressure. A few years ago, we decided to take our Flagstaff RV that weighs 9,600 pounds dry, and it was fully loaded at the time, to a nearby lake and campground. Every trip so far had gone off without a problem. Nothing seemed out of the usual when we headed out. When I got on the highway, I felt like it was a little windier than normal. But when looking around, it didn't really appear to be. The trees weren't swaying. The semi-trucks were doing their typical 75 miles an hour on the highway. But for myself, I was doing 55 and was a little bit of a white knuckle drive. Honestly, unlike most trips we take, the thought of checking the RV tire pressure on the RV before we left just had slipped my mind. At first, I just figured I would keep my speed low, no big deal. About the third semi-truck that went by, it almost seemed like the RV was towing worse and swaying more than normal. After 20 minutes into the drive, I was really questioning myself and I knew I was gonna have to pull over and inspect the trailer because something just didn't feel right. Still at this point, it didn't cross my mind about not checking the tire pressure before we had set out. I pulled over in a small town at a gas station, got out of the vehicle, inspected the truck, the trailer, the weight distribution hitch, everything to ensure everything was set up properly. Everything looked normal, nothing was out of place. Then I realized that I hadn't checked the tire pressure before we'd got on the road. Mm -hmm. In order to make sure we are as safe as possible regarding the tire pressure, I had bought a mini air compressor that will inflate tires up to 120 PSI. It's also a built-in tire pressure gauge. The truck was at 55 PSI on almost every tire, which by the way, were brand new tires, mm -hmm. but they left them underinflated for a smoother ride. I used the compressor and started to fill the tires up. I got to the left rear up to 70, and then I started on the left front, realizing it was gonna take a long time to get all the tires aired up properly. I drove to the nearest gas station and found an air stand. I just figured it would be easier and quicker to all the way get all the tires aired up to 80 PSI and get back on the road. Mm -hmm. I headed out of town towards the lake. Everything felt fine. Then I got back onto the highway. I got up to about 55, 60. Everything seemed normal again. This highway is a two lane undivided road. I got up to about 65. Then the oncoming traffic started to go by and I got that familiar feeling of nervousness when the trailer swayed a little more than normal. Mm -hmm. Realizing that something was still off, I slowed it back down. Had to drive another 10 minutes until I reached our destination. Instead of heading all the way there, I did stop at another gas station. They have a wide turnaround. I was able to pull through, pull the trailer up towards the air on the side of the building i went inside bought a specific tire pressure gauge um, for higher pressure went out and checked the tire pressure on the rv because the first time i saw the truck was under inflated and i didn't check the rv i just figured the truck was the issue all of them were at 60 pounds which it requires 80. Mm -hmm. so i felt like a bit of an idiot for not double checking them earlier when i realized the truck was so low Prevention would have kept me from losing a bit of confidence in the tow vehicle and the RV trailer by just simply checking the tires before we headed out on the trip. 
which is why I know I am supposed to do that every time now. Right. We have a great video we want to share with you all about the importance of checking your tire pressure before you head out for your trial run RV camping trip. You can check that out over on our website at solarv.com. Just search for this episode number 20. We had a wonderful time at the lake after this fiasco and the drive home was windy. However, Mark had no problems running 65 mile an hour with proper inflation in the tires. Proper maintenance on all RVs, new and older, is so very important for, in protecting your RV and family. Skipping steps before heading out can result in big problems. Learn from Mark. Don't skip those steps. Coming up next week is part two of our three-part series of our new complete RV travel guide, How to Secure Your Best Camping Trip Now. Thanks so much for joining us today. As always, Soul RV encourages you to safely get out and live and explore the world around you. If you'd like to check out our show notes from today's episode, just go over to soulrv.com, click underneath podcast, and make sure you follow us on social media and be sure to hit that subscribe button below. 